got a player here. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. Um, in this video, I want to do a review of the movie Terrifier, which came out in 2017. And it's a movie about a killer clown. So it's a slasher film. And I want to talk about it because I actually just recently watched the movie for the first time. And I just thought, why not give a review for the movie while also talking about the second film? Because there is a second film coming out in October, uh, and I saw a trailer for that. I want to get my thoughts on it, but I also want to give a review for the first movie now that I've seen it. And it's definitely interesting. I do think that this movie, um, it's something that does feel derivative of other slasher films, mainly because it's made on a low budget. And you can definitely sense that if you, um, if you've seen the movie, um, it's very in the same style in terms of how it looks to say the original Halloween, like the original Halloween movie back in 1978, like this movie definitely feels a very low budget comparing it to something like that, for example, or the original Friday the 13th. So... I really liked that aspect of the movie. It made it feel very uh, realistic in a sense because of that. And also the clown, Art the Clown, he was a very interesting slasher character. Um, he's a killer clown. And I've seen killer clowns portrayed in movies before uh, in other slasher films. And most of the time, a lot of killer clowns, they talk a lot, especially Pennywise. Pennywise cl uh, in the It movies, he talks a lot. And then there was another uh, Killer Clown movie called Stitches. He talked a lot and joked a lot. Whereas Art the Clown, in this movie, he was completely silent. More similar to Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees. Where he, most of his personality comes from the way he acts. Not, but not without words. But just all with his face and his hands. And uh, I definitely really... Um, it was definitely one of the creepier clowns I've seen um, in slasher films, definitely. And I just really think that this movie did a pretty good job with that. And also, I really liked how this movie took place in this abandoned apartment building for a majority of the film. And I thought that was really cool. It made the movie feel very isolated um, in a sense that uh, the characters um, are trying to survive in this abandoned apartment building and it was just very fascinating seeing um this kind of setting uh in a movie like this and a lot of you know creepiness comes out of the tone and look and feel of the tension and the tension continuing to build as a movie went on in this ab abandoned apartment building and i thought that was really fascinating um, there were a few things about the, about this first movie that did confuse me a little. Mainly, um, near the third act, there's this one scene where the clown was like... How do I describe it? Um, <laughs> the clown was like... I think it was really him? He was like wearing like a woman's hair and a woman's body over him or something. And he was like... Ha! Um, <laughs> It was weird. I it was confusing. I couldn't tell if that was actually him or not. Um, this that whole scene in the movie just felt a little odd to me, and I wasn't sure what to get out of it. Then near the end of the film, there's other instances of characters with like these mutilated faces, and <laughs> like the fa like. Especially, like, near the beginning of the movie, there's a scene that's, like, an interview on TV, and there's this character with a mutilated-looking face, a woman, and then near the end of the film, similar situation to the to the final girl, she had a very similar-looking similar, similar -looking face near the end um, when she survived uh, out of all the other people that were killed. Um, she survived, but uh, Art the Clown, like, quite literally... Um, created that look to her uh, by I don't want to spoil it but it was really interesting to say the least and definitely uh, Art the Clown very uh, not I mean 
at first I thought he was just like a regular person uh, wearing a costume because in the opening credits of the movie you see him putting the costume on and at first I thought he was just like a regular guy but then later in the film and near the end especially uh, definitely more of a entity I guess you could say um, so that I thought that was fascinating and so he's like more of an entity uh, kind of a supernatural being in a sense and that was definitely interesting near the end uh, in that in the final few moments of the movie so yeah overall I thought it was a really good movie um, I wouldn't say it's like a great movie but it's definitely one of the better slasher films I've seen in recent years granted I mean I don't think it's mm, well comparing it to like I guess like the modern Halloween films I like it a little bit more to a degree because it just felt a lot more old-timey and just but also it was very graphic very graphic very violent um, that's another thing about this movie uh, very 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 violent um, so for a lot of uh, slasher fans that like that yeah, this is definitely the movie for you and also uh, the second film, Terrifier 2, coming out later in October. I saw the trailer for that, and I thought I'd you know, give my thoughts on the trailer as well for the new for the new Terrifier movie, Terrifier 2. And it was interesting, because you definitely get the sense that it's like taking place one year later, and then you see this uh, one uh, woman, uh, I, guess, I guess a young, a young woman, wearing an angel costume because it's Halloween and then there's a scene of her fighting Art the Clown in the trailer and I thought that was interesting and I've heard that the director is talking about this one particular character wearing an angel costume being like the new f uh, lead in the second film and in other future films as well so definitely this is becoming a franchise a uh, brand new slasher franchise um, with Art the Clown kind of being this new slasher icon in uh, 21st century uh, uh, slasher uh, films. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, seeing this uh, new trailer for the new movie coming out. And I'm definitely, I'll am definitely i definitely do a review for that as well uh, when that comes out. So yeah, uh, the, my grade I think I would give for the first Terrifier movie, I'd probably give it, I think I'd give it a B plus. That's my grade for the first uh, movie. And yeah, um, I'll definitely uh, do a review for the second film when it comes on October. And then also, as I've said, they're making like um, another, supposedly like the director, um, he's has plans for a third film and possibly if that does well, they will also get another sequel, a fourth film. So very quickly becoming a franchise. So that's really cool. And specifically also, uh, Art the Clown, he was actually in another movie before the Terrifier film, um, made by the same director called All Hollows Eve, which was like an anthology film, and that was like the first appearance of Art the Clown, uh, and then he, you know, was made the lead uh, slasher villain in this first Terrifier film, and now it's become a franchise of its own, so all that's very fascinating, and yeah, uh, that should do it for this video, just wanted to give my thoughts on the first Terrifier film and the next upcoming film and other <laughs> films in this franchise. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.